All right, uh, good evening. This is Luke Thomas, QuakePrediction.com, here at the Earthquake Channel. It is 9.23 in the evening on Sunday, November 29th, 2020. And uh, we're going to do a review of the uh, earthquakes that have hidden, hit uh, from our last forecast. We had called for a uh, about a 5.0 earthquake uh, near Jakarta, and uh, there was a 4.6 just south of Jakarta. And we were calling for a uh, about a 5.0 earthquake near uh, uh, in western Guatemala. And a 4.6 earthquake hit uh, far southeastern Mexico and western Guatemala, kind of on the border there. And that verified that. We were calling for a significant earthquake uh, northwest of Los Angeles, uh, from Santa Barbara to Santa Maria up to Ridgecrest area. And that's actually a very inter interesting uh, spot because uh, usually they don't get a lot of earthquakes in that spot, uh, but they did get a bunch of uh, small earthquakes, 2.6 and a bunch of 2 point something earthquakes, and then a 3.1 earthquake up near Ridgecrest. So sort of a verification on that forecast. And um, uh, a couple days ago, there was a 3.6 earthquake in the Sultan Sea, which verifi verified that forecast as well. Now, uh, here's the, uh, the roundup uh, for the world earthquake forecast. Uh, if uh, there isn't any significant earthquake northwest of Los Angeles tonight, it looks like the risk will be shifting to the uh, northeast part of California tomorrow uh, on the uh, 30th of November. And far northeast California and southeast California. Remember, any of these maps, you can look over at quakeprediction.com and check out the map for a more visual understanding of the risk. So, um, And then Anchorage... Our last forecast, we had called for this uh, earthquake to hit north of Anchorage, and that was for the 29th and 30th, which is, uh, we're in that warning period right now, the 29th and 30th, so expecting in the next 24 to 36 hours a strong earthquake north of Anchorage, and that's still a valid warning. Uh, on the 3rd or 4th of December, kind of out a ways yet, uh, we're looking for about a five-point earthquake uh, southwest of Santiago, and uh, you can check that out on their map there, the 3rd or 4th of December. Uh, and then in uh, Catania, Italy, on December 3rd and 4th, we're looking at a 4.0 earthquake or larger in that area. And um, in Kumamoto, Mitazaki, in the far south and west part of uh, Japan, looking for about a 5.0 earthquake on December 2nd or 3rd. And then uh, west of Manila looks like a very strong risk of, of about a 5.0 to 5.5 earthquake, maybe larger, west of Manila, Manila, Philippines on December 2nd or 3rd. And then uh, Montenegro, northwest of Albania, looks like a 5.0 earthquake on December 2nd or 3rd. And then in Indonesia, there's a very strong uh, risk in the far northwest part of Indonesia on December 1st or 2nd. So that could produce about a 6.0 earthquake. Uh, and it looks like offshore uh, northwest Indonesia on December 1st or 2nd. So once again, please look over at uh, quakeprediction.com for all the maps. You can see the maps in a more visual understanding of what's going on as far as risk across the world. And... Uh, once again, in the California area, for those in California, the risk is shifting after today. Still a possibility of a quake northwest of L.A., but after today, the risk shifts to northeast California and southeast California down near the Salton Sea. Thanks for your support here at QuakePrediction.com. Be sure to subscribe to our videos. I really, really appreciate that. And uh, the more subscribers, the sooner we can have a bigger studio here and have more people reporting from around the world. Thanks again. Luke Thomas, QuakePrediction.com here at the Earthquake Channel. We'll talk to you after the earthquakes. Thanks again. Thanks. Now, bye.